Uh, Let me turn that light on. Cause you can't see. What's going on, guys? Uh, we met some new friends today on this uh, catamaran back here. Endless playtime. And uh, they came up just a few minutes ago, yelling that they needed some help because their dinghy came off. We were like, oh my gosh. and uh, they have no dinghy to go look for their dinghy. So we took off in Maggie, just running downwind, and then did a sweep up the shore, and we actually found it really? on this point over here. Um, but there's a big surf break there, oh. so we can't get the dinghy in. Uh, so we're gonna put on our wetsuits and just swim in, and then try and get it off the beach. Like if you have to swim in through surf, how are you going to bring the dinghy out? Then Probably the can... same way we did in Vanuatu. Just hold the bow down. Okay. What's it's your little rig there? Oh, I got the GoPro and two blasters. <gasps> yeah, and then that way if, if I have to get underneath it and pick it up, then it's attached to me. Cool, man. So we'll see if we can get some good shots of the rescue. Yeah, good luck Make out sure there. Be the safe. Yeah, it always happens when it's dark and rainy and windy. It's blowing like 30. And we've got lights, we've got camera, we've got three people. What's, uh, what's our game plan here, boys? Well, once we get over to endless uh, playtime, we're going to pick up Casey. He's going to come with us. Okay. Uh, we're going to take the dinghy over to where their dinghy's on the shore, just outside the break. Us three are going to jump in the water, swim to shore. Well, us three? No, no, no. Oh, you and him. Okay. Yeah, me and Brian. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my jacket. Fine, but I take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going in the water. What are you talking about? I'll do whatever. No, no, your job is just to keep the dinghy outside of the break. Okay. So you'll have a big light with you, and and then we're going to try and get it off, swim it out to where you are outside of the break. Okay. And if it's running, then we'll just motor back nice and slow. Okay, so we should grab a line. Do you guys want to we swim? We should grab a line. line. Yeah, I'll, bring the, I'll bring the floating line. Yeah. Just in case we need to tow it. The big Scary, one. huh? Yeah. I don't like big surf breaks and dinghies is never a good combo. It's a bit yeah. scary. Yeah. Sorry if I'm blinding you. you Boys ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, wish us luck. Let's go. See you soon with your dinghy. Oh boy, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge rescue. Just go, get yourself all the way to port from here, okay, Blue? All the way to port? I mean, don't go any further to starboard. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay. see you okay. soon. Do you have a plug? Do <laughs> you have a plug to... You alright man? Yeah, take your time. Got the bow spun around now, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we got the bow around. We're just trying to get the bow up so that the water drains out. Okay, let's think this through. So what we 
stuff before to get her through surf. Is assuming you can get the engine started, we put our weight in the water to keep the bow down. Yep. So you don't roll over. And then you just go out and swim out to you. Yep. If you start it, go to port. After draining the water and verifying that none had gotten in the outboard, we tried to start her up to get through the break. The only problem? In the excitement, we had forgotten to bring the key, leaving us to try and swim the dinghy out through the breaking waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, hey, we come back with one like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then pulling it out, it's just, we just happened to time it right between the swells, I think. Yeah, there wasn't anything to break in the set. I can't believe we thought we would save that ourselves. It's <laughs> good thing you guys came over earlier. <laughs> and we like met. <laughs> yeah, it would have been really awkward had we not. <laughs> Dash! <laughs> We are on bottom cleaning duty because we are going into the marina today. So first step is cleaning the bottom so it doesn't get all nasty when we're in there. So we just got done cleaning the bottom and I came up and look at what fell off of our gear. It's a baby lobster. What insane creature. Oh, he's still alive. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. What a cool little thing, huh? That's awesome. Sweet little buddy. Oh yeah, there he goes, he's kicking now. His heart was still beating. So what's up with the prop down there, bro? Oh man, good thing we found that. It looks like uh, uh, when we hauled out last, we had to heat up the prop to, uh, un to, to get out the set screw because it was uh, seized in there. And I think the bearing closest to that got damaged. And so the bearing is starting to fail. Uh, so we're gonna have to pull the prop off and uh, replace the bearing before the one of the three blades comes off. Well, we're in a good place to get stuff shipped. Yeah, and we're going into the marina, so it's a convenient time to order it and get it done. But phew, you don't want that happening. No. Go ahead. Nelson's Dockyard, Nelson's Dockyard, Marina, this is sailing vessel Delos on 6-8. I see the reason you're loud and clear, pleasant good afternoon, oh. so you can state your message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, reserved a spot at the dock for today, and we are anchored in Freeman's Bay, about to pick up the hook and come in, over. Roger that, that is good. But we're mid morning today, so we're gonna drop the anchor out in front and then back in, and then we'll just have two stern lines going to the dock, which we've actually never really done at a dock before. We've done it a lot to like cliffs and beaches, but uh, that, I think we'll figure it out. <laughs> she was a little nervous going into the marina. <laughs> and this one is really fancy with a lot of fancy boats, but we're fancy, yeah. Okay, I'm a neutral guys, so you're controlling our distance away from the dock now. Maybe we need to let out a little bit more tank. Yeah, we're coming out. Well done, Captain. Yeah, pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Super smooth.
Well, after finding that problem with the prop while diving the boat yesterday, I figure I've got to take it off so I can figure out what bearings need to be replaced. Uh, we're in the marina now, and I tried to think it through as good as I can. So I've kind of mentally gone through the process of removing it in my head. First thing I've got to do is get off the uh, zinc, which this should be the tool to get off the nylon bolts. And then I've got to loosen the uh, grub screw and I've got my Allen keys. Uh, and then I need to get off the nut itself, which should be this side. Uh, I've got this metal bar, so I don't have to take the ratchet down there and potentially ruin that. And then for leverage, I've got this bar to put on the end. Once the prop nut is off, I've got the prop puller right here to pull it off the shaft. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this bucket with water. I'm gonna put all my tools in the bucket and then just hang it there off the side of the boat. And uh, I'm really not looking forward to going in the water here, but it's gotta be done. So, uh, Morning. <laughs> it has been a, uh, a very, very fun first few days here in Antigua. I really had uh, no idea what to expect of this island and I'm pleasantly surprised to find that it's very cool, very beautiful. There's like a, a strip in there with a bunch of um, restaurants with really good food, really good pizza and bars with live music and there's this whole scene here of the super yacht crew, um, which just makes makes it fun kind of meeting people and going out and enjoying ourselves. So we've spent a few days doing that. And Brady and I have also been adventuring around a bit and trying to find the right spot to uh, have Brian and Karen's reception and dinner for when the family comes down. And there's definitely some, some cool options around. So it's gonna be really beautiful and uh, it's, it's coming up soon. But all around, it's just a, a good vibe right now. Uh, I've never seen Karen and Ryan as happy as they are now together. So it's a good vibe on the, on the boat and uh, I think we picked the perfect spot to hang out for a bit and uh, yeah, just enjoy ourselves. Good morning. You look cozy, comfy. It's so comfy in here. a little video here I did some work on the boat yesterday I got the old uh, or the old uh, bad prop off which was not incredibly fun because the water here is about that much visibility oh, it's that bad in there yeah and I had to go uh, under the boat and I think all the boats are just dumping their poop right in the marina so that's always nice to think about while you're down there and uh, I got the spare prop on, so at least we're not stuck at the dock now and I have to order the parts for the new one. Well, it's good we have a spare. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah. Good to have a spare. <clears throat> Did you film that at all yesterday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. nice. Well, good thing we caught it. Yeah, before the blade flew off and boom. Yo, that would suck. Yep. Didn't that happen to you once? Didn't the whole it? prop fell off. <laughs> That's a whole different story. <laughs> What's that story? Uh, first trip from Seattle coming down the coast there was absolutely no wind and we had prepared for the worst 
and it turned out to be a motorboat ride. So all the way from Seattle to San Francisco, just really the whole way, no more than five knots of wind the whole time. What? And, uh, got to the dock, uh, tried to pull into a dock in Sausalito and coming up to the dock and put it in reverse. And I heard a tunk and then the engine went and Delos didn't slow down and kept on going straight to the dock. And, uh, so it was somewhere in San Francisco Bay, probably within like a hundred meters of the dock. Had a friend that was a commercial diver that I met there and he spent three days crawling hands and knees on the bottom of the bay, ended up finding the prop. And um, I think the first time I hauled the boat out, I just didn't, there's like a little grub screw on the side that's supposed to lock the, the prop nut in place. And I didn't use the correct kind of a Loctite on that. And so it backed out and I think what what held the prop in place was the fact that we literally motored uh, the whole way from Seattle. So, you know, the force of the water was what was holding it on. And then the second I went in reverse, it just went boom. <laughs> yeah. So live and learn. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, five minutes in the life of Brian on a Sunday morning. There we go. Like this, this is it. I got my coffee. I got a smoothie. And I got my computer and I'm kicking back. Whoa. That's it. That's a good work setup. This is the office. Mm. All right, enjoy. Will do. She's back. Welcome back. I miss it. You Does it feel good? It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. It feels like I've been gone for way longer than like nine for days how long or whatever. Have you been gone? I think like nine days. Whoa! Yeah, yeah it's kind of okay? long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels longer though. Yeah. Where when I you saw know? you guys, I was like, "Whoa! I haven't seen him in forever." <laughs> um, Nate and I, uh, my boyfriend Nate, who yeah. we missed, um, we stayed in Dominica. So they left to like Ile de Saints and Guadeloupe to get yeah. you, yeah. and then we just stayed for a little bit longer to like do a little bit more diving and stuff because okay. Nate was gonna go home, okay. uh, getting ready to go home, and so we decided to extend our okay. Our so Dominica you stayed in Dominica. Yeah. So now you flew from Dominica and uh, straight to here. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. What uh? What happened with the prop? Yeah. Well, I found a loose blade on the prop, so I dove it in the marina and swatched uh, swatched it, switched it out to our backup prop. But I've never actually used this prop before, so I don't know how the boat's going to behave, how she's going to back, and. It's just going to be a little bit different, so we're going to have to watch things when we pull out, but I think it's on there pretty good. At least we're, we're about ready to find out. Okay, both the lines are free. Bye-bye, Doc. Where, where are we going? I don't we're just know. going to go around the corner, uh, just on the to the other bay. Uh, I forgot the name of the bay, but it'll just be a little downwind run. There's a quick sail just around the corner, but we're back where we belong on the hook yeah. in the breeze, free of charge. It looks like a really cool spot. Whoa, I like your new eyewear. How's it look down there, senor? Dude, that anchor just locked in. It didn't even drag at all. It like landed in place. Once the tension came on, it just sank in. It's good. We're locked in like real nice. Up next, we have the family down for the big day. Know before you throw out the eggshells. Yeah. Eh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we got that one on film too. Oh, Beautiful. No. Marta is like a female Benjamin Button. Yeah, female Benjamin Button. She's like a 13-year-old biker chick right now. This is an awesome vibe. 
What's rocking, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>